and thank you for joining me for this little segment of chemistry. In this section, we're going to talk about reaction stoichiometry and applying molar volume to it. I'm, I'm a little hesitant because too often I've seen, for example, when I've graded the AP test recently, students aren't paying attention to the requirements needed for this conversion factor. First off, it has to be a gas. It comes from the ideal gas law, not the ideal solid law, not the ideal liquid law, not the ideal aqueous law. It has to be a gas. Additionally, the temperature has to be at zero degrees Celsius, and the pressure has to be at one atmosphere or the equivalent in other units. Uh, I saw just reading the AP test, kids applied this to uh, volume, and it was not a gas, and it was 25 degrees Celsius. So please, 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 especially if you are AP and IB, use these conversion factors with a word of caution. Now, if you are an IB student, they define, and rightly so, standard pressure is 100 kilopascals. There's a number of reasons why that hasn't fully transitioned, but IB has, so we're going to use that in IB. And that gives us a molar volume of 22.7 decimeters cubed. Remember, a decimeter cubed is equal to one liter. All right, so it says how many liters of gas at STP, so we have a gas and we are at STP, are needed to react with ethane. Ethane is two carbons and eight hydrogens and we're adding oxygen to that. Now, we're going to assume complete combustion unless otherwise um, indicated by the question. Complete combustion is going to make CO2 and H2O, and then we need to balance that, and so we would need a two here, and a seven, and a four, and a six. Okay. So we have 7.98 liters. It's a gas, it's at STP, and we want to go from liters to moles. And it says how many liters of oxygen at STP, moles to moles, and then moles to liters. And both of these are gases, and both of these are at STP. So that um, we have that so now let's make our grid if you like the grid method okay so we're going to need three steps one two three watch your arrows okay so I'm going to start with 7.98 liters of my ethane okay you want to label these I want to go moles I want to get to moles of ethane from liters, since it's a gas at STP, 22.4 liters per one mole of the ethane. Now, I want to get moles to moles, so I'll use my magic mole ratio, and I want moles of O2, and that's the uh, where we get that conversion factor from, are our coefficients. So we have seven for oxygen and a two, so that's seven in front of the oxygen and a two in front of the ethane. And now I want to go to liters. So I want to eliminate moles of oxygen and I want to go uh, to liters of oxygen. Again, it's a gas at STP. So I can use 22.4 liters per one mole. And you always, always, always want to double check my algebra, but I did it a couple of times and I got 27.9 liters of O2. Now, um, what I want to point out here is do you notice when we're doing this that, let me get a different color here, you always want to cross off your units. That was a mistake there. Liters canceled, moles of ethanol canceled, moles of oxygen canceled. The other thing I want you to notice is if we're going volume to volume and we have the same temperature, in this case STP, the same pressure, as long as that's the same for both substances, 
The only thing you really need is your magic mole ratio. And we'll see an application of this in other videos. But that 22.4 cancels. And so we get 27.9 liters for that. Let's very quickly, now that I've kind of given you some of the caveats, let's very quickly move on to one more example. It's going to take a little less explanation. So I've got hydrogen gas plus chlorine gas is going to yield two hydrogen chlorides. I have 5.33 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of hydrogen. I have excess chlorine. Uh, that's important. We don't need to do a limiting reagent problem with this. And it says how many liters of hydrogen chloride gas at STP would form. Okay, so we've got to get molecules to moles moles to moles, and moles to liters. All right, so three steps. Get a little bit extra this there. Okay, so 5.32 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, whoops, I missed my two there, molecules of hydrogen. You want to label, especially when you're going from one substance to another substance. I want to get rid of molecules and I want moles. Molecules are something I can count, a particle, so that's where Avogadro's number goes. And that's one mole of hydrogen. Now I want to eliminate moles of hydrogen and I want moles of HCl. There's a two in front of the HCl there's an implied one in front of the hydrogen. Now, because it's a gas and because it's standard temperature and pressure, one mole of HCl will occupy 22.4 liters of HCl. Again, you want to make sure your units cancel. Molecules cancel. Moles of hydrogen cancel with moles of hydrogen moles of HCl, cancel moles of HCl, and double check my algebra. That's a good way to know you understand the video. I have 39.7 liters of HCl. Okay, that's molar volume applied to reaction stoichiometry. Thanks for joining me. Good luck with your chemistry.